Hey everybody, it's me RJ. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel pump on a 94 to 2001 Dodge Ram 2002. The diesel, but I don't know if it's the same, so let's not worry about it. Well, I think 2500 regular even. First thing you'll need, Phillips screwdriver, clean out as much as you can on your gas cap. Get in there, there's four bolts. It's pretty simple, screws, whatever. As he's like, man, those came out easy. Look, I went and loosened them before we started, so. And I only got a few hours of daylight left, like two. So I'm gonna get this knocked out before. Quickly, quickly, okay? Four Phillips screwdrivers. This one's kind of hard angle. Um, this is the filler neck. It is attached to your uh, gas tank by a rubber hose. It goes down metal piping and then a rubber hose. And then you're gonna need a 15 millimeter socket. With as much extension as you can get is gonna be the better for you. I'm going to show you what I'm using. Okay, I'm putting these in my back pocket. Okay. Okay. This is what I'm using. Okay, what's that? Nine inch or six, eight inch or six inch extension? Got a thicker one, you're going to be good. Come on under here. Give it a Alright. See that mount? That's 15. I already removed it. Okay. If you're doing a long bed, there will be one right here. See where this framing is? There will be another mount. I am not a long bed, so that doesn't matter. You would need to remove this one off this part that looks like this, and there'll be another one right by there on the long bed. You remove that one. Same thing on the. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I showed you those. Sorry, disconnected the thing. We're moving it. Um, Take there your time. are two bolts at the rear. Okay, they're right here. If you remove your spare, you can see them. And get to them there's one here and it is straight up in there you see it right there put me mommy you're making the light change okay there's one you keep moving get out of there okay you guys see it right in the middle okay kind of not really you should there you go see it right there okay there's another one right here so where that is is on the spare front of this arm right here where your yeah, leaf shackle is Okay, these two you loosen enough so you can tilt it back, okay? You don't really all the way take them. Right now you'll see my socket stuck in there. Um, it'll come out though when I stick up in there. And I got the exact same on the other side, all right? Let's pause it for a second. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, everybody, so get a good block in there and just slowly lift. And what you're gonna have to do is try to keep your, while you're lifting, you're gonna have to adjust this. Adjust what? Uh, this, right here. This is the, uh, okay. Pillar, tank neck. We got something coming. Yeah. Okay, so I use the little board to get it up enough. And then I got the bigger, longer board under there, and level switch. Put a board on that side, back and forth, and uh, then we're gonna have to get a bunch of boards under it, or whatever. And oh, you're bending thing. the board. What? That new one under there? I think it's no, maybe it's Please just the there. angle. And then you gotta slowly release. See that bolt show? See how that is? You just let a little more, a little more until you hit the top. And then you're gonna have to get under here and work. You have more people, you can just take the bed off. Except all the wiring will be in your way. But... Some people will cut inside the bed. You can drop the tank, but uh, I forgot to say in the beginning, you know why we're not dropping my tank? I just filled it completely. And then it went, I don't work no more. It's a full gas tank, which means you lower it and you're going to spill. But if you want to lower it, that's really easy. There's a tank strap there, there's a tank strap there, you drop it down, you're good. So, what I'm going to have to do is get this and prop it up a bunch with boards here under the frame. And then we're going to get in there and work once I get it enough where I feel like I can get the whole pump out. Okay. So, just slowly lowering it, erasing it, I mean, little by little. It's going up, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's the... The board? No, that's the tube thing. Tube rubbing? Cool. Okay. It just fell out. slow. Some people, you know, if you have a hoist, you're real good. You can get above it. Lift it evenly. Mark two of these jacks. The same size board. I don't. So going back and forth. I might get my high lift out and help lift on one side, but I don't want to bend up my bed because it's not destroyed. Okay, so pretty good right now. I'm close to what I need. I'm about to get in there and clean that whole area so no dirt gets in there. Take like some air in there. And then we're gonna come in and see there's a pump 
There's the pump, okay? I know it's night, it's getting dark out, I know. Nice fish in the morning. Just pause it now, you see me slowly jacking it up. Okay. Okay? Well then. Maybe we hit a point. We on? All right, everybody, since I have a short bed, there's only six bolts for the frame, so I had to remove the front two and the two that are near the back, left the back one. If not, I just couldn't get enough lift. And this is still a little too much. So I got a board here holding it. I have a jack stand, a jack stand. I have a board, I have a board, and I have another board. Just in case this thing tries to come down okay so put as many extra blocks and things you can in the way because you never know if things are going to shift there's nowhere to put it up there so that's it right we got show them so my next job now is to get in there and clean okay now you're gonna have two things it looks like i have the plastic which is good which means i can use a screwdriver or a punch to turn this if it's too tight if not and it's metal you have to find a brass punch or wood or something because you don't want to hit metal on metal. Bye-bye. Um, I have a plastic one. But like I said, I'm going to get my blower out here. I'm going to get all these leaves. And i got to clean this whole thing off so that we can work. Now, the one thing that sucks, where my jack is right now, we might have to move it over one because right there would be probably my easiest spot to work. Unless I crawl under and there's no room. So, no, I can't. There's stuff in the way muffler so i'm gonna have to move this jack after lifting it so that i can get it. press built up i got a pen air nozzle okay so you don't want any of that in there because you don't want dirt in your fuel tank okay so i see this is the only place i have to work really you know right here um, it's gonna be a little pain because i can't fit through anywhere else. some people like i said will cut a hole right here through their frame but then you got to cut through this or next. Yeah, you got to cut through this, which I don't want to do on this. Um, maybe on some of the gas tanks you don't, but I have the 35. Um, and you could do another way if your tank is light. Like I said, there's two gas straps. Come here. Here. And they just two bolts right here. Here. Uh, that's the gas strap. There's two bolts and then it kind of unhooks. And then there's one right there. And then you can lower the tank, but my tank is full. And that's a mess waiting to happen. All right? So you do that, that's the quickest way, I would say. You lower it all the way to the ground. Yeah, see, mine's plastic, so we're good. Um, so I'm gonna clean this up more. I think I'm gonna bring out some soapy water to help speed this up a little. Just because, uh, all right, buddy, to help you clean off, you see I got it pretty good. Actually, this helped. Get some hot water. You know, don't overspray. These are electrical connectors, but it can get wet under here. It's the truck. It's sealed, okay? Let it soak for five to ten seconds, whatever you think. Sit for a minute, and it kind of breaks up that old crusty, crusty, stanky stank. Um, you can move this around a little under here. If you want to, you can unhook this strap and move these hose over, then you're going to have gas fumes in your face is the problem but you can do that to help yourself get a little more room to move under here it is going to be a tight fit that's why you want other people with you you want multiple stands holding it um because you might bump something you don't want it to come down and crush you all right so after you get that now watch after it's just a minute see a lot of the funk comes off a lot easier i don't know if you saw but this whole top of this tank it's completely covered in stuff, uh, old, old dirt and grease and types of things. And it's, 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 it comes right off. You want to make sure you clean all that water out of there as well. Even though water won't hurt your gas tank, it will maybe mess with your electrical component right there. So, now the problem I'm going to have is getting in here real tight. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Doing kind of? All right, I'm gonna climb up in here, guys. You try to video, okay? I have to remove these three things. Now this here, I might be able to do from out here, but I don't know. I'm gonna use this, climb in. It's gonna be a little tight for me. I'm a little beefy. Um, so you have right here, okay? 
You push this down. I can't see what you're doing. Okay, see this? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Reach your arm in there. I can see now. Okay. Don't touch the frame of the truck. Whatever you do. So you push this down. Pry it up. Whatever. Um, so you can get the thing to pry it. See that? This is my weird angle, I can't push down very easy. So this pries up a light, little itty bit. But, there you go. And then you gently pull out the thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. See what I'm doing, kinda? Mm -hmm. really nice if I had the needle nose that have the bent pliers, the ends, they're tipped and curved to help pull this guy out of here because it's been here so long. Nope, I just broke that clip, I think. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't affect me. I just broke the clip off the thing. We got a new one though, so we should be okay. Hopefully the new one doesn't need that. So the clip that holds this in, I just popped off on accident. It's connected to this part and it's supposed to pull off this guy. Ooh, were you leaning on the truck? No. Okay. So we're gonna pause this till I get this, but you're just gonna have to wrestle it and be gentle, guys. You still don't want you don't wanna break the harness is staying with the truck. This should be this. This part I don't have a new one of, so you gotta be real careful. I'm gonna have to transfer that evap slash gas tank bed. Um, and then we have this right here. You need to put two things on the side here that you push in. See them? There's two little clips, one on each side, and you have to push them in and pull off. And that's why I said I wish I had this, the needle nose with the bent tips, but I don't. So I'm going to do it like this. And then there's going to be a fuel leak, so that's why I wanted to pull this first. Just pause it while I'm trying to wrestle it. Okay. So you got to take this. There you go. Get this red clip out of there. Be careful. Don't break it. I already busted part of the plastic on the clip. It should still hold, I'm hoping. Um, I'm going to take a screwdriver here because those clips, they hold like the clips on this side down. Okay? Make sure it stays. I'm going to try to... Part broke off. It's supposed to help push down. These... I'm trying to pry them up like this with the thing, okay? So I'm trying to get them up and then you just pull out of there. And I can't because it's so tight of a fit, it kind of sucks. So if you can drop it, you're gonna be happier. Alright. You clip it up, you pull up on the part here, and then you pull off. It's like clipped onto this piece, okay? We'll be back in a minute. Once the little plastic broke off, it made it very hard and you had to get in there and get to the side of here to pry that little up because it clips onto there and then it just pulled right out. It was just, the plastic was so old and stuck together, it was really difficult. All right, now our next thing is this guy here. As you can see, there's two blue clips on the side. So you have to push them in. I can't see. And then you bring them out here. See the blue clips? Hold on. There's a blue clip there and one on the other side. And that's why those bent uh, needle nose pliers would work better. But the regulars are going to work. I'm going to push them down and then it like, it's like a... Uh... A release. Yeah, it's a release, but there's a name for it. I'm having a brain for it right now. The type of connector it is. It's like if you use a sh the shark bite plumbing stuff. Um, not ring adapter. I don't know. Uh, I'll think of it by the end. If I don't, I'll write it. So you see I got them both? Mm -hmm. You clip them, and then you just lightly make sure you have them both. And you'll break it. You definitely need this clip again. Okay, see it? And then there you go. It releases, and you're going to get a fuel leak, see? Okay. And then the other one, you're going to be real careful. You don't want to damage the hose. Unless you're going to replace all the hosing, but I'm going to try not to. Uh, you can try to do is pull this guy out, since it's not, you're going to have to transfer it over anyway if you want. If you do that, you might be okay. Um, pop this out now, but I kind of want it on while I'm pulling the tank out because of the possibility of fuel getting in it. So I'm just going to gently, slowly pull on the hose. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. And just little by little, giving it a boost. It has no clip or anything on this. It may have at one time, 
but it does not anymore and did not. <clears throat> I have to save this part as much as I can. Because if not, I had to order a new one before we can finish this job. I keep like sliding down too far. That's fine. So I'll just slowly do that, okay? Pause, guys. So I got this, I just gently squeezed and squiggled, squiggled, and it came off, okay? So here's the next step. You gotta see if you can manhandle this off. You can't, okay? So you're gonna have to take this here. I'm using a rubber mallet because that's what was near me. And then you need to get a punch, or like a screwdriver, and put it in that ridge right there, okay? Punch might be better, it may not cut through as bad. Spark and bye bye. All this was for nothing. I have the plastic, which is nice. It, it seems to loosen easier. Okay, before you get that all the way cleaned up, see, I got it up a little. There's dirt. Careful. Get as much of that dirt out there as you can. So you can your tank. Okay. Alright, I got a spot here around the back where the dirt is caked, so I'm gonna take my screwdriver through it, break it through. Okay. Now after I hit it a few times, are you still been in? Mm-hmm. I still do not have, I'm still a Nancy boy, you cannot move it. So, screwdriver or punch, whatever you got. The reason I'm using the rubber mallet is so that I don't accidentally cause a spark with my hammer. Um, hammers will work. Little chances of sparks while I'm messing with an entirely full gas tank. Now, if you look, as high as I got it, it's barely enough to get in there. Um, if you can get your bed up more, you might have to remove the, the rear bolts to do that. I couldn't get it with mine. Okay. Let's see if we can do this now. Alright, so there we go. We are free. Ish. Okay, now you gotta slowly lift. Make sure you have other people out here with you because of the fact that this bed could shift. Try not to do it on too windy of a day. Um, slowly lift, there should be like fuel stuck in the pump. I don't want to okay, do that. This is fuel in it. Okay, see. <laughs> Take it. Oh, yeah, see, it's full, full. You're gonna spill fuel. There's probably nothing you can do about that. <laughs> Trying to shake it a little into it might help, but it won't. Uh, I'm gonna go grab my oil pan to put it in there. So that I have less of a mess here. It's so long. You gotta be careful. There's a float valve in there. You're gonna have to turn this to get it out the right angle. It's going to pour fuel. And nothing you can do about that. Oh, I got this way. Now we have to wait a while for that to sit. Uh, so I'm covered in gas. See? Can I see it? Mm -hmm. That's how much fuel is going to be inside there if it's clogged up and not working right. Okay? Whew. Whew. All right? Yeah. It's nasty. I know. Did you get that wire? 
Yeah. Over there. Yeah. The new one? Yeah. No, it's over in the box. Huh? Okay. So let's carry it over here, Paul. Okay. All right, everybody, so I'm going to lay everything right here. We're going to get the new one out. And then just to see what parts I need to transfer over. I know I need to do the EVAP because I've already opened this. The EVAP slash gas tank thing. Um, this gasket is going right up there like that. Um, that plastic cap is coming with me. They don't give you a new one. So oh, that's silly. Here's what we got. This is the float valve, okay? So you have to connect this to where it goes. That one looks a lot bigger. What? No, there's no size. Same oh, size. It's just expanded. This rubber band here is not part of it. So our band was supposed to hold this in place and we didn't. You see we got a fuel problem. As you can see I need that. We got this here. Uh, my clip will still work. It just won't have the button anymore. So that's going to be the pain. Um, this comes like this to help to give you an extension I think. The clip and then clip the other one onto here. Uh, so that you can have a little more room to work with while you're doing it. Okay? This here unplug when you're about to put the fuel line on. Or is that, that like to replace that whole harness? I mean, the harness isn't going to be, I can't oh. reach down in there. Okay. Huh? Okay. It's down in there. Just give you some gap because they know the old one's probably broken. So you'll have a new, fresh connector. Okay? So you got to take this here. See how this is connected, guys? How that goes into there? Clip, clip. So we have to do that with this guy. This is your float. Okay. Let you know the tank's fuel. All right. Take this. And you gotta get it in that hole. See the hole? Mm -hmm. Can you kind of see it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gentle. Push it in. Okay. And then you just gently pop it under both those clips. It's a pain because this thing wants to suck itself back in there. Okay, careful. There, got it. Plastic. Okay, yep, and it's just plastic and it's floating. It's just boo -boo. all right. So it looks like all I need is the cap and the canister thing and the gas tank. Okay, so this cap, all these are gonna have to come out of there for the cap to come off. It looks like this guy can turn. Guy will probably have to pop out of there to get it off. Oh, oh you should have put that. What? You should have put that rubber thing. Turn this like I had it, okay? So I can turn it. You just force it turned, and then you can slowly. Okay. So I can flip it off. So before you put this all together, get that in there, okay? I'm gonna clean this off with my air hose all the way. Actually. It looks like you're going to need the rubber gasket and this part. So we're going to have to gently, Hopefully. gently put that there. I'm going to use assistance from Kylie. Kylie, grab that one. Gently pry it together. No, under there. Pry it. And let's see if we can get the whole rubber together, maybe. Okay. Oh. you got to be careful, guys. You don't want to rip this. I didn't get a new one. I'm going to put a link for the new one. I'm probably going to buy it because after this pumps in, all you got to do is lift it up a little and put the new one in but if it works but it could be part of what was bad it's just a vent for the tank though to help the evap this goes here to a hose it goes to the evap canister okay so i'm gonna take that get a little and do this like i said just gently pry it okay you guys know i sit and see me do it i'm gonna be sitting here for like five minutes plus we got that one off now we're gonna get the new one back in um Good lord, that's a tight fit. Is it a different size? No, it's the same. It just, it didn't want to come out, so it's not going to You gotta like squid in. What is that meant for? This one doesn't have one. What? No, there's an extra one. Mm -hmm. Alright everybody, so they were supposed to have a cap from the picture. Can't get a hold of the company, they didn't give me one, so I just got a full vent that would cover it. Um, this is a missions thing. That is for multiple years because they're, you know, multiple years and this mine just doesn't need that. If you look, my old one is set up to do it. And right here, look, you see it? There's where the hose goes. See this here? That's where it would be if it was the other years. 
to the exact spot, okay? Hmm. It's what? a little bit different spot. It's it. a different spot, yeah, it's over here. So mine doesn't have it. That's the arrow telling you where to line up when you put the tank back together. Okay, it's right there, mine doesn't have an arrow. So you take these apart, get your rubber grommet, take it apart, you're not gonna be able to push them together. You'll be in here all day. Take that. Gently. It's still gonna be tight fit. Put the grommets far. Be careful, don't break your I wanna wait to put that on last the little what? metal arm thing. What metal arm? Maybe, yeah, yes, yeah, so you could do that last. Either way, I just wanted to show them how it goes. Oh, careful, careful. You gotta wrestle this here. So, mm -hmm. so make sure you got it right. You see that seal goes up. Take this here, put it over that. By the tank, you want the, the flat ridge to go up here. This is the tank gasket. So what you do is it goes right there, okay? Try not to get dirt in there, it's gonna happen. It is a truck, fuel tank. Get to get dirt. Mm -hmm. All right. What we're gonna do here is slowly, remember when you're doing it, under here. Can you see what we're doing? Okay. Take the slope, get it in first. Hold it up, get your hoses out of your way, your connectors, they want to go right there because that's where they were. Everything's fighting me and I cannot see where I'm sitting at, right? There we go. Okay. Push this over. We are down in the tank slowly. I'm gonna get back in there like I was before. This is my fuel I spilled. Alright. Okay, so the reason they do that is just to be an extra connector. I'm going to use it so that I have the extra space to work. Um, make sure your rim set's good before you start trying to tighten it. You'll see the rubber seal will try to knock itself out. Push everything in on every side. There's two ridges. Get this out of your way, get this out of your way, and slowly put this on. Don't cross thread it, even though it is plastic on plastic, you don't want to do that. Okay. Get the seal down inside the, the, the tank and slowly turn it the whole way so you can make sure you got all the grooves in on every side. And that's going to fight you because of the fuel filter. The, the fuel gauge um, won't go all the way around. But once you get that, you can tell. And then you just wrestle. We're going to pause again because we're still going to have to wrestle. Mm -hmm. Alright everybody, so once you get in enough, same situation. You can only do a little at a time. Grab the next one. Don't die. It's very hard to fit with all this stuff here. All right, guys, I got ahead of myself. You have to get this clip off, okay? So, small screwdriver. You just take it, go like that, and push forward. Same thing on the other side. Screwdriver new one for whatever reason did not decide to come with one cleaned off as much as you can the fuel. I'm going to use my water and just going to clip it onto the other clip which I didn't even take my uh, you could probably do it after like I'm doing I left my uh, rubber cap on the breather because I did not put the fuel on because I did not want to uh, get stuck. 
seep some dirt in the fuel. So what I'm gonna do is so we throw all that dirt out of there. And then the fuel spilled. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on first. You can still put the cap on. And it just clips on. See? That's it. And then put that fuel cap on. Protect it again, okay? You on? Did you see what I did? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm just gonna sit here and slowly get each one. Punch if you can. Make sure your screwdriver's not too sharp. You don't want to cut through the plastic of this thing. Uh, like I said, if you have metal, you need a brass or wooden punch. Okay, you cannot use a screwdriver or you could go kablooey. Okay, some of these have a metal ring instead of plastic. Is that it? It's getting there. You want to go to where it won't go anymore because uh, it's a fuel tank. That's about it, ain't it? <laughs> small right mm -hmm. like that we videoing mm -hmm. okay okay that's gonna be it together where's that clip the wire harness oh. his wiring harness is to help you for a little stretch if you can't make it over or if you break the old one which I kind of did so we should be good now and I got this guy here and it will still clip in. It's just harder to remove now. See? Oh my gosh, that, that thing will not go over no. Uh, uh, I'm almost there. Alright, are we clipped? Nope. Not your gloves? Nope, nope. I'm just gonna do it and manhandle it. Uh, I might get my uh, channel locks to do it. To make it all the way it's almost there's a clip see the clip mm -hmm. can you see mm -hmm. it's like this is gonna man up what we're gonna attempt is put this here i don't really want to hit on it but i'm not manning up enough here okay. you use your gloves to help you put it yeah, yeah. what you think pushing my gloves will help? I don't mm -hmm. think so. I'm gonna do this real quick. No, we're not. I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna get my channel locks out here. And I'm gonna squeeze it together because it's not working. We're gonna pause. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, so here is my attempt. Squish this together. Look at how far it is. And there it goes. See? Latched in, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. no. It looks like it, right? Let's do it try from the other side too, just to make sure. Yep, that's it. All right. We'll find out when I try to it up and it goes, oh, I'm sorry. You ain't connected. Let's take this hose, gently shove it back on. You know it fits because it was the old one. It did not have a clamp. Um, I might have to rectify that and add a clamp later. This guy here is very simple. Make sure those clips are under the side because they have to go into here. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. See the holes in the side of the fuel pump? Yeah, make sure it's the right way. Boom, clipped. Okay. This guy 99 is going to flip over. The old one down in there. Harness. Just to help you. Like I said, give you a little more slack. Problem is, now I got this extra angle on this wire. So I probably should have used the old one, but I think they knew you were going to clip it, and then you do that to help lock it in place, okay? You're probably going to want to start it up before you lower yes, it. Yes, we're definitely going to start it up. Um, everything's on. Make sure that's good. That guy's down there good. Double check everything. Now, the problem we have is I am starting it up, and my truck shakes a little. Uh, it's going to take a second. Uh, I'm going to turn the car on. We're going to see if we can just hear the pump turn on. It should turn on. Um, we should be able to hear it. 
You put, don't get in there, but get close enough. Hear it? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. You heard buzz, it? Like kind of buzz humming sound. Like it clicked. It was like a humming okay. sound. It's going to take a second because the vehicle has not been running. Well, it may not take a second, but I think it's going. six or lower a lot of time i also changed the idle air control valve which helped a little um the, the throttle position sensor i bought did not work was bad so i returned it we returned it right we uh, haven't returned yet. it yet okay we need to return I it issued a return um, for it. this by the one was working it obviously seems fine so there we go that's your fix you got any questions um like i said you gotta lower it a little time get it down you gotta make sure you get those bolts lined up and coming down you want to lower it all the way down because you're going to have to move it a little. Um, you're going to need help on the lowering to where you can put the bolts in. Uh, you might be better if you can remove your spare to line up that bolt. Alright? That's it. Hope this helps you. As always, you know, please like and subscribe. Every little bit helps. Uh, as always, for all the guys that are hating, I'm like, I'm a mechanic. You're an idiot. If you're a mechanic, don't watch my videos. You should already know how to do this. Um, this is for people who haven't done it. It's really not that hard, even though I make it seem ridiculously hard sometimes. Because anything that can go wrong does go wrong usually. For me. Today was better than usual if you watch my channel. Um, but it just shows you the different things to use that they're not going to tell you and how to work on a machine that isn't clean. Other guys do this and it's going to be like a machine. You're like, oh, you've never driven this truck. It'll look like that before they start. <laughs> yeah, they do the job first and then redo it and then try to video. I don't know. I'm video as I'm going, I'm showing you the problems I come to. Any questions, things you might run into, like, hey, why is this got an extra hole here? It's an emissions thing. It does not matter for my year truck if yours didn't have it already, okay? But I was like, why is there another vent here? There's no other vent. Is this an extra vent for the EVAP? What is it? It's another vent for emissions. Mine doesn't have it. The old spot, the old one I showed you, right? Had the marks. Okay, so that's it. We'll put the link for it. There'll be a link below for this pump. I'll put a link for the EVAP uh, gas tank vent, EVAP vent. Um, I didn't get one, but I'll put a vent for the best one. Um, if you purchase from there, it'd be awesome. It's the exact same price if you buy it without using me, but I might get 30 cents, which would be awesome to help me out. All right? And I keep making videos. I mean, yeah, I have to work on these anyway, but if I don't make any money, I'm not going to waste the extra hour it takes doing the video. I could have been done 45 minutes ago without doing this video or more an hour ago. You agree? I could have been done last night. I could have been done last night, yeah. I didn't do it because of the dark. We were working on it last night. If you watch the video, it was getting ready to get dark. But I couldn't because it was going to get dark and we couldn't video. So, yeah. As always, I'm RJ. Season 8 and every day. Hope this helps you. 